Hey, awesome people of YouTube. Welcome to another guide on uh, Starfield. In this one, I will tell you and show you how you can get semi-passive experience that takes some time to set up, but you can do it. And once it's set up, all you need to do is just wait time. You can do exploring, fighting, whatever you want to do, you know. And then you can come back, spend a bit of time, get a bunch of XP, and you're good to go. So, what you need to do is you need to have one or two outposts, depending how big or how small you want to set up your operation. You're going to need a good amount of resources for outposts. So, you want to build one or two outposts. If you want to have one, uh, find the planet. Well, if you want to prefer, find a planet that has both iron and aluminum. If you want to have one outpost, you want to find an area where you can mine both iron and aluminum. The planet that I found that works for me is, well, it's not really a planet. It's a moon uh, named Anjafon in a system of Narion. You can see there's Alpha Centauri, so Cheyenne. So what you want to do is when setting up your outpost is scan for resources and try to find. I have one that's pure iron. It's gathering a lot. I think I have three or four industrial extractors and a bunch of commercial which will extract more and I have a good amount of storage and I have the uh, linking from planet to pl uh, from like within the system so I don't have to use helium and I have this one where the original one where it gathers helium and aluminum so they both gather the materials that I need if you find if you can get a place like somewhere uh, like right here or right here where you can possibly get both iron and aluminum that would be best if not then you can set up two outposts so once you set up your two outposts you want to get as many extractors as you want if you haven't researched uh into outposts you can just do regular if you have obviously the the commercial and industrial are better than regular ones industrial is the best but you can still use the regular it, it's perfectly fine. You know, you set up your aluminum, you set up your iron, set up a bunch of storages. If it's two outposts, you want to set up a bunch of storages on the iron. And on the aluminum, same. I have a lot more over here storages than I have in the other one. As you can see, it's filling up pretty, pretty big amount. And if you have two outposts, you want to also set up the cargo link. Not the uh, inner system. You just want a regular one because that'll be from within the same system, you know? So just free, pretty much. Then you want to set up your linking going from your out, uh, output link going from this to your storages. Then, pretty easy, what you want to do is set up your industrial workbench. And what you do on industrial workbench, which is pretty easy, is you just craft a bunch of adaptive frames. If you want to do a massive uh, farm, kind of farm of XP, you want to slap set up like a lot more. Yes, it could slightly take a performance, but if you set up a lot of it, you can get a lot of XP. As you can see, this been filling up pretty consistently. So once you got your certain amount, or you just want to get some XP, is you come over here, you can pop uh, an aid that gives experience. I don't think I have it. Let me just see. Uh, all it does is give you like 15% more experience. It's not necessary. Yes, it will help you just a little more, but he can get away without it. Uh, I don't remember the name of it, so we're just going to take a second and look through it. Uh, also, this method will get you just a little bit of money. You know, it will help pay, help pay for itself and eventually get you some money not a lot but just just a little bit apparently i don't have any uh xp stuff so we're just gonna do it normal so what you want to do is go and get adaptive frame which is why we needed iron aluminum you can craft it from level one so it's very easy and what you do is if you're on pc you can use the mouse and set it up to where uh you can literally just 
instantly press and craft 99 but for us console users what you want to do is spam ray bumper as fast as possible craft 99 and keep doing it as you can see i can craft over a thousand of them yes they will sell for like three of these so for every hundred you're gonna get what, 300 bucks not a lot but you're also getting 100 xp and 100 xp might not mean much but you're getting it for pretty much for nearly free and you can keep doing it for as long as you want and look i can probably get a full experience a uh, full full level maybe not full but very close to a full level just doing this and what did it cost me it cost me maybe like an hour or two to set it up but then i can keep just doing it over and over and over again getting a lot of experience obviously i'm level 42 so it's going to take a little bit more but you can use it to help you get from like level 10 to like level 30 semi-easy and like i said it's nearly free and it gets you a little bit of money yes it's gonna weigh you down a lot and you want to have a ship that can carry a lot but if you don't that's okay you can just try to slow crawl to your ship which unfortunate i unfortunately did not set up the big landing pad over here so it's gonna take me a bit of time to get to the ship so i would recommend setting up that beautiful landing pad with a ship builder because well depending on how big your ship is it might not be able to land on a small platform and you want the platform so your ship can land right next to your outpost versus four or five hundred meters away which is obviously not ideal <laughs> and if you can like i said if you get a big uh, setup you can get a good amount of money i probably will come out from this with maybe four or five grand which is not a lot by any means but all that i do is spend like five ten minutes crafting after setting it up and i can keep doing it and the best way if you just want to do this non-stop is go to venus in soul system set up a chair and wait or you don't have to set up a chair you can just land your uh, spaceship look around in spaceship and just wait in there because the time difference in there is huge so you can wait like three four hours on venus and in uh universal time it will be a lot more which will fill up your storages and stuff which is ideal if you just want to do this as you can see i don't see the end of iron and aluminum it's still over a thousand <coughs> and look how much experience i've gotten quite a lot and yes you can kind of say it's cheesy method but um why not it's better than you know trying to cheese it by going to a high level system and fighting their high level enemies which is what you can do while waiting for this and you can combine this method with other methods of getting your xp so like i said you can go to a high level system you can fight a bunch of enemies while waiting for this and get xp that way then come back here get your level or get a bunch of xp and you're good to go look at that I'm level 43 now and I still don't see an end to it. Yeah, I used up a nice chunk, but I'm level 43 now. And you can keep doing this again, depending how big you set it up and for as long as you want. And unfortunately, I do have 6,000 carry weight. Let's see, Oop, wrong thing. I have 3,861. So if you don't have a good speech, you know, of like you haven't gotten into commerce to sell for more that's not gonna get you a lot of money you know it's gonna give you a 3p so this will get me let's use our calculator and we'll figure out 3861 it's gonna get me around eleven and a half thousand. obviously if you want into commerce it's gonna get you a little more and more but this gives me 11 grand and a full level and i keep keep doing it so it's definitely worth it if you just want to do occasionally like semi-passive uh, income and semi-passive leveling. But with that said, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I do stream Starfield every day from 4 p.m. Eastern, so do check it out. I set this up for the videos so you can 
know, talk in there. With that said, don't forget to stay awesome. I'll see you in the next one, and bye-bye.